This is a video showing you the highlights from the first two episodes of Crate Room. To those of you who are not familiar with it, Crate Room is a Halo-based podcast that I am doing with Yeti and Unknown Emerald. Those who have watched the first five episodes, you'll know that we talk about a lot of drama and gossip in the podcast, but this isn't going to be our main thing. We're going to tone down the uh, behaviors that people might construe as attacks on other members of the Halo community because we don't really want to be seen as haters. We're just three dudes talking about stuff going on in the Halo community. We'll still talk about people and all that stuff, but it'll be less, you know, attacky. That's not a word. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so, uh, what's up guys? Welcome to uh, the first Crate Room uh, episode. Well, I thought our first topic, the people who message you, you get random messages from people, and then they want stuff from you afterwards. You just get spammed with, like, party invites and shit. Somebody messaged Angel and was like, oh, I like your vids, man. <clears throat> that voice crack and then Zinger's like thanks and then the person asked for like a shout out <laughs> afterwards yeah like, it, it went like hey dude love your videos I, I was like yeah cool it's a fan I just go thanks and then right after that he, oh my god you responded <laughs> can you give me a shout out yeah and he just says his channel Chance, name yeah <clears throat> and we're not gonna shout channel, it out I'm not gonna we're not, say yeah it. we're not shouting yeah, it obviously. out you're not getting I'm not shout shouting out. <laughs> that out and I'm not gonna mention it here either I mean you but may, you the name of the it, channel it's like it's, it's so really bad. You're gonna tell it's terrible. I could tell. I could tell you're a squeaker, kid. Just that was just gonna, pretty. Like, I, like I one of my favorite that. messages I got is, "I got Halo Five just to play Angry Wasps." That was like one of my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> ones. Me personally, off. I don't just endorse anyone. I would endorse someone if I <clears> like <throat> what they're doing, you know, if I enjoy their content. Your like them. yeah, I've endorsed Yeti in the past. I've endorsed Halo Customs because of my ties with there. Someone asked if they could collab with me. I decided to give their thing a look. <laughs> and it was just like, what a... It's so boring. <laughs> it's like, it's so generic. They're basically like, you know, a third world Forge Labs, pretty much. <laughs> From the new maps that got added in, I think... I probably uh, enjoy Storm's End and Doubloon the most. I'm not going to put my first ma my, my own map yeah, that's pretty, on, uh, for obvious reasons. Yeah, that's pretty narcissistic, to be honest. But... I will put it <laughs> second. <laughs> when I was in Forge Cafe, that was a website. Oh gosh, I uh, forgot about that website. Way. Yeah, that existed. Anyway, uh, there was this guy who was like Reaper Bot or something <laughs> like that, and uh, <laughs> I was giving him feedback on some of his maps, and literally every single point I'd mention, he's just countering it and then just saying like his own reasons why I'm wrong and. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I was not wrong. Like the maps, I was the, his maps were terrible, yeah, yeah. and it's I was <laughs> giving him I was giving him proper feedback, and he got nowhere. He made like tons of maps. He'd like post them on Forge Hub or Halo Customs. I remember he posted this one map, and uh, the Psycho Duck was like, I think Duck gave a comment uh, a comment to it, he, like posted feedback, and of course the guy listens to Duck because it's fucking Psycho yeah, it's Duck. Duck. <laughs> people with like who select who they're gonna listen to in terms of feedback. I absolutely hate oh, yeah. that. Back then, man, like I I really hated it whenever my feedback got ignored and then someone mm. else chimes in who who's known. Example again, Psycho Duck, and then the guy goes, Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> We're like a bunch of lonely housewives just like sharing gossip. And then there's also the issue of the servers. Which I play a lot of competitive customs and online, and I just di the people I play with disconnect just randomly. Andrew. And I think that's that's been why well, <laughs> play you don't play competitive with Andrew, dude. Seriously, <laughs> but um. Hey. The oh yeah, I'm not white. <laughs> by the way, in case anyone's not aware. <laughs> yeah, you are. You <laughs> people say I sound white. I guess. So, I thought you were white I for the longest time. When I uh, die of lung cancer, Yeti should review. No, it's fine. Like, people should know that Zangel is. Uh, I mean, like soon. before you die, make your I mean, best effort to become more white, and then you can die. <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Gotta cook instead some of like <laughs> instead of selling meth, I'm, I'll, I'll just sell rice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the blue, it's the blue rice, <laughs> the purest <laughs> rice. <laughs> the blue rice. <laughs> it's the ricin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ricin. <laughs> blue rice for fuck's sake! I remember I oh, sent oh you that, that was for that your was birthday funny. on Skype. I sent oh, yeah, for a my picture birthday, of rice. Yeti sent, for Skype, Yeti sent me a picture like, Hey, it's your birthday, happy birthday, man. He sent me a picture of fucking rice. <laughs> like, what I thought of, like, the Halo truthers, I guess that's what they called <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, basically, the people who go, like, you know, you know, who share the truth of, like, what's going on truth, behind the scenes with the quotations. community. Quotations, <laughs> truth. Like, uh, 
big name drop here again. Uh, the Act Man. I used to be subscribed to the guy. I enjoyed his content. Like he was funny. He what did he like, upload previously? He but. uploaded funny stuff. There was that uh, my favorite thing about Halo 5's rec system where he was just sarcastic about not being able to multi-sell. I fucking loved that. <laughs> he did like a Star Halo 64 video and uh, like funny moments, stuff like that. And then uh, he st- like started talking about like issues within the game. I was like, yeah, I like that. Someone needs to be talking about this. And he gets a lot of views. So I'm like, yeah, 343, three, watch this guy. But, you know, recently it's just like... He's. I feel like he was just like he's just looking for stuff to like complain about, just so he can have Get that extra you know, revenue. Just so he can have videos to upload. I click a video and just him ranting for like fifteen minutes, and then just going like, "I love this game. I love this franchise. Fuck you, three four three. It's still decent content. He still works hard on the videos, but I guess the actual stuff he talks about just bothers me now. Like I'm on Twitter, right? Uh, people are talking about like this fun new thing in Halo. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll check this out. And then you see like a fucking Act Man tweet. <laughs> like, oh, but did you guys know that theater is still garbage?